everyone's doing. Another late night edition of Mike's Anything Goes. Um, kind of wanted to talk about um, obsession, also known as the law of diminishing returns. America's obsession with six pack abs. You know, I, I don't understand where this all came from. Um, I've been working out for nigh on, you know, 30 years. Um, and when I started working out, the first thing I did was Charles Atlas, you know, the ISO metrics with your, you know, pulling your body against itself, um, which I thought was pretty good. And um, then on the back of this pro wrestling magazine, there was a ad for this Mike Marvel uh, workout course. It was like uh, telemetrics or something like that, <laughs> telekinesis, and you kind of like would stretch your body to like the maximum point and to it felt really tense and you held it for like seven seconds or something like that. Um, which is also very good too, up to a point. I got really flexible doing that too. I remember when I was in gym class, I was able to touch uh, my palms uh, bent over on the floor and a friend of mine said, Mike, I don't think you should be able to do that because only girls can do that. So, well, I guess I got something out of that. And I remember talking to somebody and they said to me, what's this workout routine you've got going? Uh, I told me the tele, the telekinesis, <laughs> telekinesis, the Mike Marvel method. And um, I had showed him what it was, and he was saying, what's this, telepathy? You know, tele, you know, you know, teletronics. And he actually tried doing one of the exercises, and he said, you know, I can feel something. But he said to me, you're never really going to get that big unless you engage in weight training. And... That's when I bought a really good bodybuilding course. It was a universal bodybuilding course. And it had non-weight training, but it had weight training too. And I had reached kind of this plateau because when you only use your body weight or your body as a gym, um, the, you can only gain so much and then, because you're only so strong. Whereas weight can make you stronger and there'll come a point where there won't, there'll be a weight where you can lift, but you can build up to that. So, Hence the beginning of my weight training uh, career. But, um, you know, when I started working out, everyone knew that I wanted to work out. We wanted to get big. Big shoulders, big chest, big arms. No one's talking about six pack abs. Six pack abs. So. And for those who have six pack abs, you know, I think it's great that you have them. They're, I, I, to me, though, I, I don't know what the obsession is with them because no one can see them. Okay? It's like. From last time I looked, you have to wear a shirt in public. Most people wear shirts in public. You know, uh, and here in the Northeast where I live, you know, you may have at most, you know, maybe 15 weeks of summer. You, you consider May 30th or the Labor Day, uh, Memorial Day to Labor Day. So if you work five days a week, you probably only go to the beach on the weekends. And so that's 15 times 2 is 30. That's assuming you go every weekend. And then it's also whether the weather's conducive or not for you to take your shirt off and show your six pack abs. Okay, so even if you hit the maximum 30 days, that means 335 days, no one's going to be able to see anything. Okay, um, they're very difficult to get because unlike other muscles that you work out, which don't get covered by fat easily, like your chest or your legs, your stomach, you know, cover it gets covered with fat and Unless you diet and have the right diet, you could have a really strong stomach and no one will ever see your six pack abs, okay? So, uh, you know, and I think that as difficult it is to get them, they're that easy to lose. You figure, it, when you gain 20 pounds within like two months or something like that, you know, forget it. They're gone, you know? Um, whereas if you, like, lift heavy, you can still have some good muscle mass in your body. And even if you went active, you might atrophy a little bit, but you'll still have most of it, and you can get it back pretty fast. Whereas your six-pack abs will take much longer. And they're hidden anyway. I mean, last time I looked, you know, we had to wear clothes in public. I mean, I'm an attorney. You know, I'm not, even if I had six-pack abs, I'm not walking into court with my shirt off. The judge would be like, get the hell out of here, Mr. Reina. And then my boss wouldn't like that, and he'd probably fire me. And he'd have a right to. <laughs> I should fire myself, you know. I think I could see maybe girls having more of an advantage because a lot of girls wear, um, you know, blue jeans or shorts and, like, a top, so their midriff is exposed a lot more. So I could see them 
getting the benefit of that. But I otherwise, I just don't see it. And and, and like so that that's one muscle that you. What about the rest of you? I mean, when someone when a girl goes to you, make a muscle. Well, you you pull your shirt up. No, you know you flex your bicep, tricep, whatever. That's that's the showy muscles. You know what I'm saying that people notice. So all those things. If you have six packs abs, that's great. Um, I'm sure it was very difficult for you to get, and uh, that's an achievement. But you know that doesn't mean the other people who don't have them. You know, are any lesser. I mean, I also agree that you know having excess belly fat around the midsection, you know, can lead more people to be prone to certain or susceptible to like illnesses, such as diabetes and obesity and uh, things of that nature. But every, I don't know anyone that has six pack abs. I don't know anyone. And if you look at even the Pumping Iron, the movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger, nobody there had six pack abs. I mean, they, I mean, maybe Franco did, and uh, maybe Arnold had you saw four. Lou Ferrigno, I don't think had anything, you know. But he was getting big, strong. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, these the, the six pack abs are not the end all to know all. And that's why I, I call it diminishing returns because you're gonna spend all this time, you know, getting six pack abs, and they're covered by a shirt all the time. I mean, even if you had a job where you worked outside during the summer, like contracting or you know, uh, landscaping, you know, you still got to wear a shirt, so no one's going to see it, but they could see if you do work out the rest of your body, like, even if you wear a short sleeve shirt, they can see your chest, your arms, your, you know, biceps, triceps, forearms, so say this guy works out, whereas, oh, you have a six-pack ass, well, I don't know, how do I know, I can't see him, I'm not Superman, I don't have x-ray vision, so this preoccupation with this one muscle group, I just don't understand where it came from, especially when you, most of the time, they're covered up anyway. So, you know, hey, knock yourself out to, like, to kill yourself to get these things. And like I tell you, you could do all these stomach exercises, like, um, uh, I don't even know what's good for you anymore. Uh, they used to say crunches used to be good. Now I heard they're no good. Um, uh, I guess leg raises are good. Um, you know, uh, I've got one of those Power Rex ab benches with the weights, you know, you, you pull over. It's like a, sort of an elongated, you know, sort of, uh. Uh, crunching movement, but I'm not sitting down on the floor. I'm stand. I'm sitting down on the unit. I really don't know what the best exercise is, and uh, you know, and even if you do have a strong stomach like I do, it'll can be covered with fat. I, mean, I have no pack abs, you know. So go figure. So you could exercise this muscle group and have like nothing to show for it, and you just gotta deal with it. You know, you gotta like you look at the whole picture, and like if you have other good body parts, you know. Hey, great! And if someone, and if you find someone that likes you, and they like that, that's great too. I mean, it's like you know, nobody's perfect. And I think that if you look at trying to have all the um, the more positive things you have, you add up all the good things, and if they outweigh the bad things, I think you're doing pretty good. And even if the bad things outweigh the good things, you could work on things to make yourself better. So. Um, that's why I, I just don't understand what the obsession is with this one thing. Um, when, you, when you think, even even if muscle and fitness and things like that, they talk about other muscle groups. They don't talk about your stomach, you know? So I don't know where this, this came from. I don't know, is there something from is it a Jersey Shore type of thing? I don't know. Um, actually, it was with this girl a couple days ago. We were talking about working out, and uh, she said to me, like, some guy was at, she was at the pool. Some guy came by, and he, and he flashed her. Not that. He flashed her his abs, you know, you pull his shirt up, he's like, yeah, whatever, you know, she wasn't impressed, you know what I mean, so, it's not the, it's not the end all to make all of you, you know what I'm saying, and plus, no matter, no matter how muscular you are, if, you're, you'll find that there's girls that like it, there's girls that don't like it, you know, uh, I think it's a good motivator, you know, but do it for yourself, make it a, make it an extension of yourself, don't just be, like, a workout person, have a philosophy, have friends, have other likes and interests outside of that because that's what you're talking about you're gonna bore people really fast so um i'm sure i'm gonna get some flack for this but uh... hey bring it on i'd uh... love to hear a differing opinion um, i'm always willing to learn new things and uh... for all those of you that have these abs uh... remember there's more of us that don't okay kids so, until next time, this is an edition of Mike Anything Goes. I hope to hear from you. Like it up. Take care.